up, what's up, what's up, my Dirty Red Riders? It's your girl, Everyday Faye, and Savannah. So, my Butterbean. We are about to go, to, where are we going? Somewhere. Where are we going? You don't know where we're going? Anyway, we're about to go down to Thunder Tower with Harley Davidson because they gave me a courtesy call and told me I had a $65 credit that I had to use by the end of the month or I would lose it. So I'm not letting no free money go, y'all. So I'm about to go down there, see what I can find for this credit, maybe add a little bit to it and get some merch. I don't know. We might go to lunch. Oh, yeah, let's put this up here. We'll probably go to lunch and check the P.O. box. I'm also in the process of getting some goodie bags ready for some um, VIP Dirty Red Riders who have been very supportive to me and showed love. So I'm getting some of that stuff together so I can ship off those little tokens of appreciation. And yeah, so that's what we're doing today. I wanted to ride my motorcycle, but since Butterbean is the only young and I got at home right now, I didn't want to leave her. I wanted to spend as much time with her as possible, so we're going to take the car. I don't quite feel comfortable enough taking her that far on my bike yet. I'd be super paranoid because, you know, people in the metro Atlanta area drive so crazy, and I'm just not about to risk that with my sweetness so we're gonna take the car we're gonna go to Harley Davidson probably get some lunch check the PL box need to go to Walmart to get some um packaging stuff so I can mail off these goodie bags and yeah let's go y'all let's Butterbean is acting sure. No, I'm not shy, Mom. I just don't want to say anything. You don't want to say nothing? No. All right, you don't have to say nothing. So let's go in and see what they got. Good with some bands with a checkerboard so. print. Mm. Oh no, thank you. Text messages. Oh no. Let's see if we can find something. Uh, I kind of like the sparkling shirt, but I don't like all of them. Oh, this one's got pink. Hmm. I don't really like bikes that much. I like that color. Mm. Hmm. Which bikes may I like? Hmm. I might go for the blue one because I like black color, that's my favorite color. It's either this one or not. I don't know. I don't really like the bikes here, so. Oh, 
shirts. More shirts. And even more shirts. Okay, I have to see where this is going. What is this? Waiting room. Mm -hmm. Gloves. Candy packs. Oh, belts. More shirts. Jackets. Boots. More shirts, more and more shirts, caps over there, I'm not going over there, like I said more caps, more belts, more shirts, sunglasses, more sunglasses, shirts, bicycles, more shirts, more sweaters, pictures, I guess this is the place where you can take pictures, I don't know what that is, a gong, I don't know why they have a motorcycle place, uh, I don't know what this crap is, Lounge. Ooh. Wow. They have popcorn here. What's up with that? that? That doesn't make sense. Why do they have all this stuff here? This, this isn't a movie theater. I'm confused. What you got? What you got? What you got? Mom's new helmet. <laughs> Guys, I got a new helmet today. Super excited. Yeah. Hope it matches my bike. Shoot, I can't remember. Mom! Uh -huh. Sit on the back seat. Y'all check out this Road King. It's nice. So they were I like the bars on it because the bars are thicker than my bars. So but y'all know I love me a Road King. It's got the razor pack on it. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's go. We gotta get out of here, go get some lunch, stop by Walmart to get some packaging supplies, and get this stuff shipped out to my dirty red riders. Let's go. Now, what were you saying about the candy? They were saying that this is super sour. And I was and I took one, right? Mm-hmm. I ate one. Mm-hmm. They said, oh, I was like, you said it was sour. Maybe it was just sour to them. Or maybe just because he put two more. Okay guys, so we are now at Cycle Gear, about to look at some helmet and Bluetooth. I guess we still gotta wear masks in here, so, okay. I think we still gotta wear masks, so let me get us a mask, Savannah. Just in case we need it. So yeah, y'all, we're about to go in here and check out some helmet Bluetooth. So let's go. You like his green bike? <laughs> I like them. They're cute. They do. Okay, guys. So we have decided on a Bluetooth, and we're gonna get the Cardo free form four times because. I don't feel the need to have to connect to a whole bunch of different riders. So we're gonna go with that. And we're gonna get it installed on our new helmet today. Woop woop, woop woop, woop woop. So yeah, if I didn't tell y'all before, we are at Cycle Gear in Morrow, Georgia. And yeah, we are in the store. About to get our Bluetooth, helmet Bluetooth installed and updated. So here we go. Okay guys, so we are leaving Cycle Gear. I got my Bluetooth, helmet Bluetooth. When, um, what am I talking about? I got my helmet Bluetooth. I got it installed on my brand new helmet. So yeah, about to take a ride later on to um, 
get that done get that done that makes no sense me and hubby are going to take a ride later on and see how it works he's going to pick up his new helmet this afternoon and i probably should have left the bluetooth at the store because he has to pass cycle gear to get home he could have just picked up his blue his helmet and came up to cycle gear and got it installed but anyway he can bring it back and get it installed another day if need be he'll probably do it himself but mine is installed on my brand new helmet i went with the cardo uh free i think it's the cardo free talk i'm not absolutely sure i don't have my paperwork but I can connect to four riders. And um, yeah, I'm good with that. I don't have to connect to a whole bunch of different people while we ride. I don't ride with a whole bunch of different people usually. So, you know, me, hubby, two other riders can connect and we're good to go. So I'm super excited. I got music in my helmet. No more of that Apple uh earbud wire hanging that y'all see in the videos i'm just gonna be vibing and bobbing until i get my music installed on my bike so yeah i'm super excited guys Woo! so we're gonna get some lunch and go home but butterbean ain't hungry so guess what i ain't gotta pay for no food ah! not for her at least so yeah leg up this, that bar, this ain't no bar this that nasty this that nasty Never take. Back home now, it's later in the evening, so I wanted to come to you guys and let you know what products I actually purchased today. So the first product is going to be the Cardo Helmet Bluetooth. This is the Freecom Duo Pack, four times, so this means it connects up to um, four Helmet Bluetooths, and this is it. In the box, I purchased this from Cycle Gear. So one is for me, one is for hubby. This is gonna be so wonderful to use because we, we have been waiting to get these and new helmets. And finally today, we just went ahead and got it done. So I'm super excited about this. It is a four-way live sound and live connection. The range is about three-fourths of a mile, which is fine. Because, you know, which is three fourths of a mile because we don't really ride that far apart when we ride together. It's natural voice operation, it's waterproof, universal connectivity, and over the air software update. So yeah, I'm super excited about it. I really like that it's waterproof, not water resistant. So that's that. The second item, I got a modular helmet and I got red, of course, to match my bike. It's a Harley Davidson. I believe this is the Caps, Capstone helmet. Um, when I purchased the Bluetooth from Cycle Gear, they installed it on the helmet for free. So it is installed. So this is the new helmet. It says Harley Davidson in the back. And yeah. I'm super excited about this. I'm about to go on a ride and try out this new Bluetooth and this new helmet. I have to order a smoke screen for the helmet because they didn't have any inside of the dealership. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and go on a ride and see how this works. All right, I'll see y'all in the garage. No, it's on. The helmet. Yeah, I just put my helmet on while I was talking to you because when I turned the Bluetooth on, it automatically connected to my phone. And I just hurried up and put the helmet on. So I'm backing out now. Okay guys, so it's actually the next day. Hubby got home late last night. We were unable to go riding because I had to go to work and he was fooling around with his Bluetooth trying to get it to work and connect it to his helmet. So he's at work today and now I'm going to take a solo ride as I speak to him on the phone just to see how the clarity is um, with the new Cardo Free Calm Bluetooth. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. I'm also going to listen to some music and see how I like the speakers and yeah, 
that's what we're about to go do i have to go to the post office to check the p.o box and then i'm gonna grab some lunch and head back home so yeah let's go Okay guys, it's been a while since I've worn a full face helmet. Um, so it's taking me, <laughs> I'm trying to get used to it. I'm trying to get everything tucked away and trying to take this bottom piece off from the bottom because I felt like I couldn't breathe when I closed the uh, modular front. So after that, I was trying to adjust the speaker and get that situated because I could feel that on my lip. and. Now I'm trying to figure out how to let the uh, sun visor down and like, is it up here? Like, where is it? I guess I should have looked this up before I put this helmet on, but we're gonna figure it out. Hubby's on the phone, so he's trying to tell me exactly where the little latch is on the helmet to let the sun visor down. And here I am feeling for like, where is it, where is it, where is it? I I think I found it. That's it. That's it. Just is that it? Nope. Yep. I don't know. Oh, okay. Let's see. oh there. We got it. So we got it. I like it. I look kind of badass right now. Yeah. Okay. So we got the sun blocked good. We got the helmet on. My hair is really thick, so I always have to lay it a certain way to make sure the helmet fits snug and right. So we're gonna say our prayers and get going. Let's go. to this restaurant called Tasty and Tempty. You see, I parked my bike back there at the park because it's literally nowhere to park over here. It's a small restaurant. This is all the parking. But I'm about to go in here and get me a fried catfish sandwich and some french fries. So yeah, let's go.
up, Fang and Fan? We are back home, and um, I did. I enjoyed my ride today with my Harley Davidson Capstone helmet. It is going to take some getting used to because I'm used to the three-fourths helmet or the uh, Icon Air Flight helmet. I like a lot of airflow. Um, it keeps me from feeling closed in and like I can't breathe. Um, but since this is a modular, I can let the face shield up or I can actually let the whole front face up. I do like that about it. I have to get used to the microphone though because it was like touching my lip. I didn't like that. And I was thinking, I was like, well, maybe I should have got a bigger helmet, but a bigger helmet would have been too big, even though it would have gave me a little more, more microphone room. So I got to figure that out because it just slightly touches my top lip when I'm using it. But other than that, I really like it. I think it's pretty. Um, it wears well. It is a little bit heavy. Um, I feel that it got a little bit heavy. I guess that's because I'm used to wearing that three-fourths helmet and it's really, really light. I don't usually wear like full face helmets um, a lot. So it could be just normal weight. I think it weighs about three pounds. I don't know if that's considered heavy or not, but it did um, sort of irritate me when I was waiting for my food. But of course I was holding my head down because I was, you know, playing with my phone. So maybe it was just the angle of my head and the weight. But for the most part, I like it. Um, it's going to be very great for road trips. I'm super excited to ride to Savannah tomorrow and use the helmet. Hopefully, it won't rain. If it rains, I'll ride, drive my car. But if not, we'll ride the bikes. But right now, we have a mail call. A mail call because we actually had something in the P.O. box. This is from Nor Ray, Nor Ray Perez and Ballantine, South Carolina. And I cannot think of your YouTube name, but I know it's from a YouTuber and I cannot think of his YouTube name. I'm gonna put it right up here so you guys can actually see it. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Charge it to my mind, not to my heart because I know exactly who you are. <laughs> I just can't think of the name. So I'm super excited about this package, y'all. Let's see what's in it. Let's see what's in it. Ah, there it is, the name. Y'all, Gliding on Tubes. I got some stickers from Gliding on Tubes. Oh my gosh. And some coins. This is so awesome. It says, Everyday Faye and Landshark, what's going on? You know, he always said, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> I watched both of y'all's channel and enjoyed the different perspectives on the videos. Great content y'all putting out. Keep them coming. Here's a couple of my stickers and poker chips. You can choose or fight over what color poker chips you want. LOL. Thanks, Nore gliding on twos. Well, guess what? It's not going to be no fighting. It's going to be some choosing done by me because he ain't here. He at work. So, yeah. Thank you so much, gliding on twos. Like, this was so freaking cool. Y'all know I, these, some fly, these are some fly stickers, y'all. I can't wait to put this in my saddlebag. Oh, my God. I love this. And we got some little mini ones, so I'll probably stick this one on the back of my iPad. And, yes, those are my poker chips. Thank you so much, Nore. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but thank you so much, Gliding on Twos. I appreciate you, brother. Y'all just don't understand. This whole YouTube uh, bike riding community is freaking awesome. Freaking awesome, and I'm just so thankful. Um, also, I just want to put it out there. Excuse me, I'm being rude, scratching my eyelid because it itches. I'm sorry. But I'm going to be sending out some care packages. Not really care packages, but some small tokens of appreciation. I probably mentioned it to you guys before. To some of my dirty red ride or die supporters. Um... Some of you guys have been with me since the beginning and it's still, I'm still new, but some of y'all have been so responsive and so just the outpour of love from you all is just 
crazy. And I just want you guys to know that I really, really, really appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate your support because without y'all, the Dirty Red Rider family, there would be no Everyday Fate channel. And like I said, some of y'all have just been above, went above and beyond with the outpour of love and support. And just to show my appreciation and gratitude back to you all, I wanted to gift y'all with some little tokens of appreciation. So I probably came through and asked y'all for y'all personal address to send it to me on Instagram or, you know, whatever. This was the reason why. I got something coming. I had to wait till my orders came in, so that's why it took a couple weeks, but I got something coming your way this week. So look out for it, y'all. I'm gonna do a short once I put it in the post. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, y'all, I'm the road queen. I'm my road king. And make the rest of your days the absolute best of your days, y'all. You only get one life, live it. I love you. Peace out.